This video is one of a series numbered 1 to 8, which cover the basic concepts of the primary mathematics curriculum. There are two sets of supporting materials. One is the Maths Mesh Guide, a summary of research knowledge and pedagogical knowledge. The second is the Numeracy for All booklet, showing in detail how to make and use the resources mentioned here. OK, again, back to bottle tops. Um, I've already mentioned that it's very important that children start with the concrete so they can use them physically for counting. Then go on to the pictorial, so you can put uh, dots on one side of the bottle top so that they can actually count them. So you can ask them, find the one with five, one, two, three, four, five. And then you can take it on to the abstract if you have the number written on the other side. So it's a very simple activity. They count the dots and then they say what the number is they turn over and they check, okay? You can also, to make it a little bit more complicated, if you're just looking at the numbers on the bottle tops, then they can start making other numbers. So you can perhaps ask them, I want you to make a two digit number that's even. So lots of choices here, nice open-ended one. So for example, I've made 24. Or you can ask them, I want you to make a three digit number where the number in the hundreds is bigger than the number in the tens. So I'm going to make a three digit number. So I've made 857. And if you remember, I asked for the number in the hundreds, which is eight, to be bigger than the number in the tens, which is which is five. OK, now with the zero to nine bottle tops, you can do a whole maths lesson with, with the groups just having a small packet. And this has been made from a milk bag, so it's very strong. It's very easy to keep clean. And I've labelled on it what's inside, so I know what the resource is. And a group of children can have their set of bottle tops. And they are zero to nine. And again, we can really challenge the children. You can have a whole maths lesson with this. The advantage of this is the fact that it takes a long time to make the resources. And if you have large classes, then just to have a set, a small set of bottle tops doesn't take too long to make them. So examples of activities that you can make. Well, you can ask them to make a number. So tell them the number that you want them to make. I want you to make 832. OK. Now what I want you to do is I want you to add 40 to that number. So they have to discuss 40. So obviously that's going to be adding on four tens. So if I add four tens onto three tens, then I'm going to make seven tens. So I'm going to put seven in here. You can ask them to subtract numbers. So you can do all sorts with them. You can ask them to multiply it by a number. All sorts of ways you can use it. Another one that's a nice challenge for them is ask them to make um, say, make a four digit number and then say, OK, I want you to rearrange those digits to make the biggest number possible. So again, this place value, their understanding of place value. So are they going to know that the biggest digit needs to be in the thousands because the thousands are worth more? The smallest digit needs to be in the ones because the ones or the units um, are worth less in terms of place value can also rearrange to make the smallest number possible. So can they do that? And then what's a real challenge is can you make the second smallest number? Now, what most children and actually adults will do here is they do that. Well, they don't. They do that. Yeah, so try it. See what the children do. Ask them, can you make the second smallest or even can you make make the biggest number? Now make the second biggest number. And what you'll find that they'll do is a lot of people do that. And that's not the answer. But I'm not going to tell you the answer. See if you can work it out. OK, some of the resources that we've been um, using are bottle top counting sticks, um, like this one. So the children can use them for, for counting or for um, for instance, multiplication using multiples or division for any of the number operations. Um, now, hammering a hole in a bottle top is fairly simple and straightforward. But a tip is if you have a tin, 
then when you're hammering, you've got somewhere for the nail to go so that you're not making a hole um, in, a, in a table. So um, fairly simple, you just put the, the bottle top on top. All right, take your hammer and your nail, okay. And then you make a hole. And although when the um, bottle tops are actually threaded onto here, the children can't really get to the actual hole, um, this can be a little bit sharp. So one way that you can get around that is that you can, if you turn your nail over, all right, and then you can hammer, then you will actually flatten a bit of those sharp bits. So they're not gonna be so sharp for the children. And then what you thread it on, um, you can use sticks, bamboo sticks are ideal. So you can thread it on to make counters. To stop it falling off at the end, you can use a little bit of um, sellotape. Um, you could, um, make a small hole in a piece of cardboard and then put with a sharp nail though. And then you push that through. Doesn't want to work. Get a bit of a tap. And then you can push that through. And that will actually make a nice little stopper. I have used bits of rubber from um, old um, inner tubes and things like that. So that will actually make a quite a nice little stopper at the end to stop the bottle tops from falling off when you thread them on. You can use string. Um, so thread them onto string and use a knot at the end to stop them falling off. Um, and the other one that's quite good is wire. All right, if wire is available, all right, then wire actually makes quite a sturdy resource as well. Okay, another very simple game to play with your digit dice. You can see there's a cardboard here with a grid on it. Now, these are all the numbers that you can make um, with, when you add the numbers on the black dice. So zero to five, um, the, the numbers that you can make when you add, but you can also use subtraction for this game. So I demonstrate you have one team that will have their board. Another team has, um, it's an identical board uh, the numbers are just written in a different order, but it's got the same numbers on it. Um, and then you play to see who's first to cover the grid. So you take two of your digit dice, you throw them. All right, and you can see I've thrown one and one. So I can add and put a counter on one plus one makes two. So I could put a counter on two. Or if I want to use subtraction, I can do one. Take away one is zero and put a counter on zero. So I'm going to choose two. So I'm going to put it on two. Now the other team will play, so they throw the dice and they've, they've thrown three and two, so they can do two and three and they could put a counter on five, All right? or they could do three, take away two and put a counter on one. Yeah, So they're gonna choose five and then it's my turn. So I throw and this time I've thrown four and four. So again, I could do four plus four is eight or four subtract four is zero. I'm gonna go with, oh, oh yeah, I'm gonna go with eight. I'll have one more turn for my, oh, they've also thrown four and four. So again, it can go on eight or it can go on zero and they're gonna choose zero. And we keep going until one team has covered all of their board. On the other side of the board, so you've got two games on one board here, are the numbers that you get when you combine the red dice. So these are six, seven, eight, nine, and zero. So you play in exactly the same way, but this time you're throwing these dice. So I've thrown zero and zero. All right, so I haven't got any choice there. I would place a counter on zero um, and so on. So there you go. More detail about the resources in this video and others can be found in this booklet, Numeracy for All, Resources for Teaching Mathematics. A guide for teachers and trainers on how to make and use low cost or no cost teaching and learning aids to encourage active and playful learning for maths in the classroom. OK, let's go and teach some maths. These videos are from a partnership between VSO International and the MESH Initiative. Both organisations have a commitment to share knowledge freely around the world for the benefit of teachers and learners. Yeah.